Staring out the window Reaching for a North Star Waiting just to wait the, uh, We're gonna only spend like 30 bucks I think, we'll see <laughs> Maybe more On the second day of my San Francisco trip I went to Japantown with my friend Florence And we checked out a few stationery stores in Japantown We first headed into Kinikuniya It was my first time and it was amazing There was definitely way more books than stationery But there was such a good selection of both English books, Japanese books, and stationery as well Uh oh, we're at journals we are in Mido. Oh, I guess they do have 2023, but it's moleskin. Right across from Kinikuniya was Mido, and I personally enjoyed Mido a lot more because it was definitely a classic stationery store. It was quite tiny, but they packed in so much stationery here. And I saw a bunch of my dream pens, the Pilot Custom 823, the Sailor Manio, I don't know if it's from the Manio line, the Nuts pen, which is the green and like yellow one that you can see right here. It was so nice. I could have spent like even more time in here. I feel like every time I go into a stationery store, I get like sensory overload and too excited so i kind of like just focus on one thing and i definitely took a while staring at all these fountain pens this one black crystal yeah it has like a black pink <laughs> there's so much to look at is it per state oh that's cute Oh, this is where I'm going to accidentally buy something. I love pouches. Kanzai Tambi. Uh oh, not buying any of this. We must stay strong. We must stay strong. Sticky Club IRL. Just... No, this one's not. But I also... Oh, wait, I kind of want to get one. Oh, no. And I think I might get this one. A little bit darker than my usual. But I think I want... Oh, the bacteria one is so gross, but I kind of want... Because <laughs> it looks so vintage right? From far away. <laughs> like the spaced out one. Oh, these are so cute. I didn't know that there was a second Mido location in the same Japan center. So we checked out the second Mido on the first floor. And this one had a lot more gift items, some smaller items. But there was also still stamps and like stickers. It was actually really interesting. I think this one was actually really fun to look at because they had like cards and um, enamel pins, like envelopes, happy mail stuff. There's a lot of more trinkets in this one, but it was fun going to both and I highly recommend checking out both in the Japan Center in Japantown. This is my coffee um, thingy. I was gonna say this city. I wanted these with their phone cases. <laughs> Cute. Oh, they actually feel really nice. Oh, A is this A5? Yeah, this is definitely A5, I think. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's it looks tiny. B6? Is this one yours? This one's a year. Oh wow, that's awesome. Uh, these two are actually that bright blue. Oh okay, wow. Oh, so this turns into this. Yeah, so this is about a year after the two years. Okay, wow. I feel like I want to get something here, just because it's like we don't have this store. Oh, top drawer is by Itoya, like the Japanese brand. It's distributed by. <laughs> See, I want one of these ones. It's um, yeah, it's a fountain pen. Oh, what's this one? Oh, it looks nice, but the price tag. 
If it wasn't so early during my trip, I think I would have purchased a few more things because this store was phenomenal. It was highly curated and everything was such high quality. I love how they have like drinkware and like lifestyle home goods stuff here as well as art supplies and stationery. I would really come check this place out. My handkerchief and this is for Florence. Although I visited a few more stores while I was in San Francisco, I thought I would journal about these first three stores that I visited on my second day of my trip. So let's get journaling. Okay, let's get journaling. I hope you enjoyed that little vlog. It was such a fun day and I can't wait to share more of my adventures in San Francisco. We'll save that for future videos, but let's get journaling. So I have a passport size insert that I had very good intentions of filling up at SF, but you know how it goes. You bring a planner, you bring a journal, you think you're going to use it on the trip and then boom, the trip is too awesome. You're too busy and then you don't end up using it. So I need to find a purpose for this uh, because I've already decorated the cover and I thought, why don't we just make a little shop uh, journal? So it's all of the cool shops that I visited in San Francisco and it's a good way to kind of create a little bit of a zine for myself of like the favorite stores that I visited in San Francisco, as well as something that I can look back on if I visit San Francisco in the future, which surprise, surprise, I'm pretty sure I'll end up in the Bay Area again because it was so awesome and I had so much time hanging out with friends and trying all the amazing food and stationary options that they have there. So we're using a passport size traveler's notebook. I know I don't do a lot of passport size um, journaling, but I love it so much. It's one of my favorite types of journaling and I wanna showcase more of it on this channel. So we have our first spread. We put down a wide, like transparent washi and a uh, red grid washi. I'm only using samples because it's one way to keep your journal um, insert looking cohesive. I just use like the same uh, same stack of samples when I'm creating like a travel journal because it keeps everything looking cohesive. And that's one of my first tips if you're making a travel journal because um, when you look back, you see like a narrative kind of it through design. Wow, that sounds so like, uh, sounds so intense, but um, it does look really cohesive. And I think if that's what you're going after, it looks great. Obviously, everyone does their travel journals differently. Um, but I added a red stamp um, using my Traveler's Company Wood Mountain stamp, which I don't use enough. I really love them. I only have four of them. There's a, actually a pretty big collection that you can purchase from Traveler's Factory, but um, I want to purchase them in person in um, Tokyo. So um, when I eventually visit Tokyo in the future, I will get more stamps. And then on the right hand side of the spread, I anchored another photo of the stamps that I purchased using some craft paper and that BGM sticker that I bought actually at Omomu a few videos ago. Um, and then obviously to carry the red stamped um, theme going on, I just stamped Mido using my um, dollar spot um, or like Isle of Doom at Michael's um, like mini alphabet stamp set, which is one of my favorite stamp sets. It was like a dollar. So if you're at Michael's, be sure to pick one of those up. I like how um, how simple they look. They're just a simple sans serif um, font that looks similar to Futura. Um, on the left-hand side of the spread, we have, this is a new spread already. This is why I love doing passport size journaling. We were already done, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> I just add, We'll, we'll revisit it later, but I basically added a bookmark from Kinokuniya. That one's for my Kinokuniya spread. And then we're making a spread for Top Drawer, which was the last store that we visited that day. Um, and this store is amazing. I can't rave enough about it. If there's one store that you want to visit, actually, no, that's a lie. I would say Mido would be the store to visit, but I really enjoyed Top Drawer and they had this free kind of magazine that was very, very well done. I think it's a really nice um, magazine, so be sure to pick it up if you're visiting Top Drawer. And then I went for a yellow and green theme here. So I went with some Abbey C washi tape samples that I had um, that are in yellow and green tones. And then on the right-hand side of the spread, I used this wood washi that was really cool. It just has like wood branches. And then I anchored that um, sticker of the Polaroid wall at Top Drawer with a stamp. I know that went by really quickly, but I was actually streaming um, while doing that. So I fast forwarded 
it quite a bit because uh, there was a lot of like hand movements and dead time um, where I was just kind of like chatting with people. So here um, we're continuing that journaling session um, off stream. So it looks a little bit more calm. So this is the last spread that I thought I was filming, but I actually wasn't. But this one's a pretty straightforward uh, spread. Uh, as you can see on the right hand side of the spread, I stamped all my new stamps that I uh, received. So I purchased those two plain stationary stamps that have the inkwells with the little gnomes. It's such a cute um, like stamp um, swatch, if you will. So you can use it to swatch your inks. Um, and then I stamped one of the Abbey C um, X Christine Heron stamps. It's the World Traveler kit that I got from the mini book kit. I think that's kit number 17 from Everyday Explorers Co. If you're wondering. And then I just used um, kind of the similar tones. I used this teal, um, like blue green, um, the olive green, and then the, the deeper red and then the orange. So that's kind of like my main color theme for this um, journal. I, I'm not the biggest like teal fan, but I think it works with like this colorway and it especially looks good with the orange, which I'm using here. This is also from um, the World Traveler um, mini book kit from Everyday Explorers Co. X ABC. That one just says trip highlights. And then I thought I would do some journaling using my new Narwhal pen. I'm having trouble with this pen. I inked it with Colorverse Rainy Day, which I'm not a blue ink person, but I really like this blue ink. But every time I try to start writing with this pen, it is i don't know maybe it's flow issues maybe i need to change the ink maybe this ink is drier than it should be but yeah i have some flow issues with it so if anyone has any tips let me know i might have to pass like um you know those little brass sheets that you can purchase from like goulet through um the tines to make it flow better i've never done it before but I don't know if that's the solution. Let me know in the comments if you know a little tip. Um, but yeah, I, I'm now going back through all the pages that we did in like lightning round um, and spending more time and adding more elements. So um, I have this other stamp set. This is the pen and ink or pen and paper um, stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. Um, this is not a collaborative um, stamp set, but it's still up on the shop, so you should check it out. Obviously, this is not sponsored by um, Everyday Explorers Co., but this was a gift from Abby and Christine um, when I met Abby in San Francisco. Um, but as you can see, I use that little corner stamp. It has that airplane. I think I ended up using the World Traveler kit, actually, for that one. Um, and I used the olive green. But I still had like that red, this this spread it was a lot more red heavy. So I thought I would go in with my um, fountain pen. This is the terracotta uh, fountain pen from Lamy. This was the limited edition colorway from last year. And I have this lovely diamine ink from the um, ink vent calendar. I believe it is called, ooh, I don't even know. Um, something punch. I'll leave it down in the description bar below, but it's a lovely like red orange ink. Now we're finally back to the spread that I like <laughs> showed for one second, uh, but this is the Kinnikinia spread. It's a pretty simple spread. I have a grid washi um, overlapping the bookmark that I cut down, and then I have this little stamped, um, um, not image, but this date stamp um, on the left-hand side of the spread. That was from the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, cause I did go that day. I know I, there's no like golden gate imagery here. Um, but I wanted to use that stamp to, to show the date. And then I used, um, again, the adding to my stationary stash stamp. And that one is from the paper and pen stamp set. And I use the washi tape as well. There's a washi tape stamp in that set too. And then that traveler's notebook. Um, stamp and I went with orange and teal because that color combo was really prevalent in a previous spread and I really like how this looks uh, so far at this point I was trying to find if I should add some more stationery that I purchased from that day and I ended up using some of the stamps that I got actually these are not stamps these are stickers but they're um, shaped like stamps from Mido 
um, because there is a photo of me and Florence at Mido. Um, and I really, really like this uh, sticker set. This is from Sticky, um, also known as Sticky Club. We don't have Sticky Club here. Um, so I thought I would purchase some Sticky items um, because they're not readily available here. I mean, they ship to Canada, but um, I wanted to use this stamp set. Or st I keep saying stamp set. These look really look like stamps. Uh, these stickers uh, for this spread because I wanted to incorporate some of the stuff that I purchased. And I think this... Although this green, shade of green is not as olive-y, I think it still uh, matches well with the spread and the overall journal because there are some greens that are popping up in this journal. I decided to switch my ink up and use the blue one just because there is more blue on this spread. And I'm still using the same Narwhal pen. This one started up a little bit easier, but yeah, I I don't know. Every time I try to write with it, it, it sometimes has a hard time starting to write but once i get it going it's pretty good uh, which is a shame because i actually really think the nib is super um smooth um i know a lot of people don't well actually i was pretty ignorant about narwhal but um they're a really good alternative to twisbees if you um love your twisby ecos or any of your piston fill twisby pens because this one is a piston fill too and they have like very fun and cool colors um, I went in with that little um, red orange uh, Lamy, that, and I just put Florence and I at Mido as a little caption to the photos. I don't always caption my photos, but when I do, I like to kind of make it stand out. So I wrote that in cursive instead of my regular printing. And then this is the last spread we're working on. This is the top drawer spread. Um, I think the spread looks pretty complete, but I wanted to add, again, more stamps from the stamps that I acquired over the trip. So I'm using the pen abled uh, stamp from the pen and paper um, stamp set from Everyday Explorers Co. Uh, I use this. I didn't buy a pen at Top Drawer, but the funny thing is I was with Florence, um, Live Life and Create, and she ended up purchasing a Kaweco Student, which is one of my pens that I want to purchase in the future as well. It has a very retro feel to it, and I really like how um, she ended up buying a pen before going to the pen show, but this was uh, this was her only pen purchase um, of the trip, so it actually worked out. Um, but it's a lovely orange pen, but I wanted to you know, document that. Even though I didn't buy it, I wanted to, to document that someone bought a pen that day. Um, and I used um, this orangey, yellow or yellowy orange from... This is my one of my favorite inks, this is Diamine Golden Honey. So good. This isn't an extra fine Twisby, which is very not like me but this was uh you know one of those desperate times desperate measures uh situation because i really wanted this yellow twisby uh fountain pen i bought this at paper yeah um last year which was actually a surprise because this um colorway has been i don't know it's been out for a while and it's pretty hard to find i'm on this like Nah, I guess it's a quest actually, uh, an unspoken quest. Now it is spoken quest because I'm I'm sharing it with everyone to to get all of the 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 tran no not the translucent the opaque lamy no opaque twisby ecos. There you go because they look so good. I want to get like the purple one. There's like this limited edition pink and blue one that was only released in Taiwan. There's so many. I want them all. Uh, but yeah, this is the completed spread. I had a lot of fun showing you around San Francisco and showing you some of my favorite shops. Stay tuned for more SF content. And I will be back very soon because I've been pretty bad with um, posting on time. So there'll, there'll be a new video up soon. Okay. Bye, friends. See you next time. Bye.